everything okay, BD1? Glad to hear it. Let's go, BD-1. See something in there? Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Try again. Trust yourself. Yes, Master. Again. Clumsy. <laughs> Trips. <laughs> BD one, over here. one. <laughs> Think you can show me that shortcut again?
right then. Something we can use? Scanning again? Find something? Maybe the one. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A Binoc, they called it. This? Sorry about your scout link. Standing up to that bog rat? Pretty brave. See there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Probably.
amazing. I'll check it out. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine?
My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. I use this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. It smells worse than grease does.
was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? Hey there, little guy. Pass the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. 
He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. Take a look. We are Zepho bound. You know, my piloting hasn't been this good since I graduated first in my class at the Lateron Space Academy. I wasn't aware Lateron had an academy. Yeah, it was new back in the day. You probably don't get around that area. So, what did you train on? Name it. Fighters, freighters, short range, long range, whatever. I flew circles around everybody. You flew freighters in circles? Yeah, it's all they really allowed me to do. I was so good, though, you should have seen me. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. <laughs> Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. 
I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof. A uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Edie wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. in there.
Right then. What was in there? Thanks for the help. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zepho. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Jeff got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. to these wounds.
them away. Foster, no! in there.
It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Where are you taking us? The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps, or worse. in there. Pretty hurt. Way too close. one.
up with that? Yeah. <laughs> 
Jim, here! Time for a stim. Much better. Killing us. Break's over. Yeah. Preparing another attack. Yeah. Don't be next. <laughs> Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? Shoot the enemy! Fire at will! Ah! Blast him! God, ah! unit down! Up already! Like I need backup to kill you! Push it. Getting out of here alive, Jedi. Walk all you want. 
In accordance with the Emperor's will, we have occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology.
Vampires pinpointed your location. You need to move fast. 